Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. Uh, if you're new, welcome. If you're a veteran, thanks for coming back. Uh, we have Mr. Hans with us always. Mr. Hans. Mr. Hans. Senior Hans. Senior Hans. <laughs> but um, so today we're going to talk about uh, the, is there a difference, Hans, between a personal protection dog and a police dog? Yes. Okay. If you could enlighten us. Yes. yes. Or done. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> Subscribe, share. So, um, so the general public might think that it's, or even dog trainers think that, oh yeah, it's. I have a. I'm gonna sell this to a police department because I have a. I train sport dogs. Well, you could, and it probably wouldn't be that bad. I think, you know, and that will piss off. I pissed off a few cops by saying what I'm gonna say just now. Uh, I think it takes more to train personal protection dog than law enforcement dog. Mm -hmm. Now, the law enforcement dogs have better training because they practice a lot and all that. They yeah. put more energy in it. But the the things they do is 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 not is, is you know is not as com complex as as, pers as as what the private personal protection needs to do. Mm -hmm. All right. So so. Yeah, it's pretty cryptic what I just said, right? So let me let me break yeah, it down. Clarifying. Okay, so so let's let's talk about personal protection dogs. I already mentioned a few times. Personal protection dog is usually a civilian dog or law enforcement or military dog, which which will protect the person who he is with. Let's say uh, uh, military guards munition. Uh, depot, mm -hmm. at least when I was in military, right? I don't know how they do it now. They probably have technology and all. But there is a soldier walking around the depot with a dog, mm -hmm. an AK-47 or or VZ-58 or whatever rifle yeah. he had, right? And, um, and 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 what was going on there? He was expecting somebody break into the into the ammunition deep coming deep. in coming in, in at you at, yeah right now if if they yell at him and he would run away then he would run after it right so those are two different things vectors so, that's what so the vectors right so either either the vectors go both the dog vector and the bad guy vector are in the same direction the the bad guy vector is forward and the dog behind him chasing him yeah. right yeah or they go against each other yeah. right so like, like uh, when uh, uh, so let's say somebody wanna hurt you in a park, yeah, on a walk or kick your door in and wanna intrude into your house. Those vectors, the dog vector and the bad guy vector, go against each other. Yeah, that's protection, right? Yep, yep. Now cops can get into those situation too, but that's not their main thing. The main thing in law enforcement is that the Dog is catching somebody running away. Mm -hmm. They got track him, find him, prey. all that. In yeah, prey. It's, it's, it's in prey. Yeah. So where where the dog, which is in personal protection, is in defense because defense stems from negative challenge. Right. So let's go talk about a little bit protection. How 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 does protection work in true protection? Not not what somebody trains somehow. Whatever. Okay. True protection biologically, uh, socially works. In the biologically world. or logically? Biologically. Bio, bi biologically. Yeah, like okay. in nature. Okay, okay. Right? Yeah. So, so you have negative challenge, right? First, negative challenge, which means some kind of an intruder challenges the pack, the, the individual for breeding rights or food or dominacy or... Mm -hmm. Whatever, right? <coughs> yeah. Uh, so, so negative challenge, yeah. right? I'm the boss for leadership position. Attack the, you know, the lesser dog may attack the leader. Test him, mm -hmm. right? That's all in defense, right? There's no prey. And uh, <clears throat> so you have negative challenge first, and then you have which induces in the dog who is being attacked fear and or suspicion. Right, so 
So fear, you know, yeah, if, 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 if somebody kicks the door in, I don't care who you are, you're going to have a little fear in your heart. Mm -hmm. You know, I know I was working for the security, I mean, I trained dog for a security guy. I'm not going to say any names. His name was Tom. That's all I'm <laughs> going to say, right? And he was a great guy. And, uh, and we had a dinner party there. You know, he invited me and a few other guys. And, you know, so, and we were eating. And he was showing us a security things in his house. Mm -hmm. And he could hit a button and the rollers came down on his windows. And they were like, you could not, it, it would mm -hmm. take a lot doing for breaking it, right? Yeah. And he says, so, so, and so the, 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 the guest says, so, so, so your husband installed it f here for his safety. And he says, no, no, I, I made it installed <laughs> because he's a high security person for yeah, celebrities yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. What he does, he leaves everything open and windows open, and he hopes somebody is going to oh, come in and break. So, you know that type of attitude. Yeah, yeah. You know, but 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 you know, so that type of guy is if somebody breaks in, he he, he welcomes the challenge. He's, he's he's cheering it, right? Yeah. But those that's not the you know that's not the biological function, no normal biological. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right so but most people but it also exists you know like you have dogs who just enjoy the fight yeah you know like general Patton says red-blooded american yeah. enjoys good fight those are the best soldiers right right yeah right but generally speaking even the good soldiers and all that you know if somebody kicks door and you say wow what was that yeah you still have that yeah, biological you, like, wow. yeah you know just a moment of it right yeah. And, and, and so the, the, that's a negative challenge, right? Which comes in your house, which triggers fear and or suspicion. Yeah. Right? Yep. yep. And, uh, and then dog can choose fight or flight, right? And we train them to choose. Uh, we're talking personal protection. I can yep. make sure you understand. Um, and uh, and so, so the third one is, 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 is the dog got to choose fight or flight, right? Mm -hmm. So, so... And that's where our training come into picture. We're training the dog to choose fight. Yeah. Right? And uh, and so he does it on command because he knows after your command some th negative challenge is going to show up. Mm -hmm. <coughs> or he's going to, uh, you know, or he's going to just act on his own, right? Yeah. It just depends on situation type of training. Yeah. <coughs> but it, um, can I intervene for a second? Um, and some of you might be listening and say, well, my dog just doesn't have it. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, my dog, male, hid behind my back Yeah. the first time yeah. I went to Hans. Yeah. And now I can show you a video. When I give him command, alert <clears throat> command, he's on. Well, that's the genetics of it, right? Yeah. You, but, know, you just got to dig, dig the genetics. Yeah, so my it point. may be down the genetics, yeah. right? And dog naturally may choose flight. Yeah. Which is what your yeah, dog did. Yeah. But we can teach him to choose fight. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because we tell him, hey, the flight doesn't work, man. You yeah. Gotta choose fight. Yeah. And when you teach him to choose fight, yeah. And he wins, he says, oh, that works. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And he likes it. Yeah. He likes it. And I'm just trying to make a point that if you have a, somebody that you spoke to and they're going to tell you that dog is just not good, yeah. Don't, do not stick with that person. Yeah. I don't go there. Yeah. That's the majority of people. Yeah. I know. Actually. I'm just, just telling everyone right. this is my story. Yeah. And yeah. But yeah. okay, so yeah. so let's go back to the the uh the personal protection. Yeah. So again I will repeat negative challenge, fear and suspicion overcome by courage resulting in aggression. Mm -hmm. Right as I go. Negative Say that challenge, one negative yeah. challenge, fear, suspicion, courage, aggression. That's okay. as I go. So rewind this if you're watching this. Pause it, rewind, write it down. Yeah, maybe you can well, write yeah. it down yeah. on the side. You yeah. know, one word. Like yeah. Maybe you can do that. Yeah. And um, and so 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 and as you were saying is you know we we the courage. Speaking of courage. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the third one, right? Negative challenge, fear, suspicion, courage, aggression. So I'll be talking about courage a little bit. Uh, uh, courage could be either inherited or acquired, right? Um, and that's what your things come in, right? Your dog didn't have really strong inherited courage. Yeah. 
or if he did it was somehow stumped down right yeah. i don't know but you know maybe by not being developed or by who knows right i don't know i'm not saying your dog or so no. but any dog okay yeah so so yeah if the dog has genetically strong courage that's okay yeah. but then again it's hard to turn them on you know to to build up uh uh the natural suspicion right the the, the you know the, yeah. you know there is like a you know bomb blows up and he has so much courage say, oh what was that you know yeah you know it's just like no you want the dog the dog to to react to it right and and all yeah. that and if he doesn't you gotta make him and you're making him by during training first he hears the command always always yeah and then the passive decoy becomes active and mounts negative challenge at the dog yeah. and the dog gets fear or suspicion that's the whoa what the heck is that you know yeah. you're you know yeah and then he doesn't feel good in that situation right yeah. so so he wanted to go away and he we teach him that the only way it goes away if he becomes aggressive towards the sorts of the negative challenge yeah right and then then it gets all contracted and uh the the it starts with the command yeah so so i can just if, after the dog is trained there's several levels of training yeah and after after the dog uh, um, is trained well he, um, he 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 will respond just to your command because he's conditioned yeah when i say pozor yeah right in growling aggressive voice pozor right like you're growling. You All know? the dogs are that speak Czech right now are barking right, right, at home. Right. In so. my house, everybody would jump up. But <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, so so they, you, you're part of the pack, yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, they will, they will uh, tell you, you know. So the dogs, so the dogs, uh, uh, the leader, me, is growling at something. They don't understand necessarily. I already talked about this somewhere else, but they don't necessarily understand P O Z O R or yeah. watch him or whatever the yeah. word. They don't, but they understand the emotion behind it, which is growling. Yeah, right. Yep, you talked about that. Yeah. So I say, Pazor! yeah, right. you know? and uh, and the dog uh, then see, hey, my master is growling right now, and and so I condition the dog when he hears that word, Pazor. The negative challenge, fear, or suspicion, courage, aggression gets all contracted into short circuit into aggression. Mm-hmm. So when I say puzzle, aggression, that's it. So we skip all those things, right? Yeah. By conditioning. Yeah. Right. They're all there, but they're contracted into into fracture of a second, basically, yeah. in the dog's brain. Yeah. Right. Yeah. One thing which you know is kind of a little bit on tangent when I say puzzle. To a green dog, sometimes if you already have a really strong leadership position over the dog, your dog may think you're growling at him, mm. and they will look like this and look at you, mm-hmm. right? If, if that's in training, mm-hmm. that's why I always say, and people always think that I'm nuts, that it's best to get this default down before you start doing strong obedience. Mm-hmm. By strong obedience, I mean positive, negative type obedience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, to establish leadership position. Yeah. Now you can do it like right after that, but at first when you say pozor, you gotta you're building default that it's not you growling at the dog, yeah. but that you are telling the dog to growl at the bad guy over there or a, a bark or whatever, or be aggressive towards him, right? Yeah, I've seen this in training numerous times where you you ask the person, "Are you doing a lot of obedience over this dog?" Right. You know. Right. That's exactly the reason. Yeah. Right, because if and you generally do yes, of, that's the answer. Yeah, and yeah. And, and people say no, you got you know people say you got to do obedience first so you have control of the dog. I said for me to get control of the dog, that's non issue, right? Yeah. I can do it in five seconds, yeah, or ten. You know, but 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 the point is the point is 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 is, is, is when I say pozor, I want the dog to understand that's the, that I'm growling at the guy over there. So that's the first his command. And then the negative challenge comes, uh, fear or suspicion, courage, aggression. Yeah. You know, and 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 I keep doing it over and over, 
because my training is mainly based on uh, 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 classical conditioning, Pavlov. Pavlov, yeah. Right? So when I say Pozor, the dog's adrenaline shoots right through the roof just because he heard the word. My right? male is like, the, the same male I'm talking about that was shy, he's like, whoa, like right. out of sleep, like, whoa. Right, like, yeah. right. You know, yeah. And, that, and that's what it is all about. Yeah. You know, it's a joke, right? You know that joke, right? At, at, at the politic uh, Communist Party leader. Oh, you can tell him, but yeah. To American embassy in Prague, yeah. uh, you know, to for steak dinner. Yeah. And uh, and so they go and they start eating, and the bodyguard, we call him Gorilla in Czech, uh, of the Communist Party leader picks up the steak and starts ripping it up with his teeth like this. Yeah. And the Communist Party leader is embarrassed, right? Yeah. So he leans and says, use knife. And the, 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 the Gorilla look around and says, on whom? <laughs> Right, so yeah. so that's what my dog is doing. When I say, yeah. I don't say you snipe, I say pozor. Yeah, like on, on who? 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 Yeah. 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 yeah, classic Where? conditioning. You know. Yeah, you know, that, that's it. So that's the protection. You know, that's I'm yeah. still talking about protection. Yeah. Okay, and police usually don't use this type of. So they, they very rarely in scenarios like that. Right, they could be. Yeah, but that's not really where they at. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, now you, you, you know, you may use the pozor <laughs> in all sorts of uh, scenarios, right? Uh, somebody breaking your house, or somebody, you know, doing something to your uh, property. Or I don't know. Legally, I don't care, right? Yeah, I'm just yeah. talking dog training. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and 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 so so the vector of the challenge goes towards me and towards my dog. And dog goes towards the challenge. It goes so the mm -hmm. vectors are kissing each other, mm -hmm. right? Um, where like a law enforcement dogs, their main function is to go and catch somebody and pursue somebody, mm -hmm. right? And catch them and take them down. And then as they catch them and take them down, of course the person in rare occasions, but it does happen, may fight the dog. Mm -hmm. Right. So now, so you have first the vectors one after another. Bad guy running one way, dog is running behind him. So the vectors are the same. And then when dog catches him, it'll turn around and he the starts fighting meet. the dog. Right. Yeah. Which we've seen in real life videos. Yeah. yeah. And 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 that's where the problem starts with the prey-based personal protection training. Okay. Because when you uh, teach the dog like a law enforcement do uh, in prey. Basically, you talk any law enforcement mm. trainer besides maybe me and about two other people. <laughs> I'm just kidding, right? Well, there are some. Amount, I talk yeah. to some in Czech Republic and all that. They agree with still me a small amount, that, very. Right? And 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 so so they build everything on prey, which is okay as long as the bad guys are running away, right? The vectors are the same direction. But what do you do if, if, if the bad guy jumps you, yeah. you know, from behind the corner? Or what about if the bad guy turns on the dog and hits him with a stick or kicks him? Like we saw that uh, White House uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, dog just trained it. by yeah. Ritland, right? Yeah. Uh, and mm -hmm. he got kicked and he made such a quick U-turn. It was not even funny because the dog was trained strictly in prey. Yeah. And the people like Ritland, for example... They say you want to do it in prey because you don't want them to recognize any threat. So you want them to go full bore, which is malarkey, if you ask me. Of course, you want the dog go full bore uh, and not have any up, uh, apprehension to yeah. do that, right? You do. Yeah. But you also got to teach them what will happen if, if, that, if those vectors change and suddenly the bad guys start challenging the dog. Well, they're very... And if you don't do that, the dog doesn't know what to do with it and will... Choose flight instead of fight. Well, if that video doesn't show it, his own train, I mean, just, I don't know what else, you know. Well, he, he shows some, you know. No, I'm just it, saying it's what you're saying is true because it Yeah, happened. well, there's a video of the White House, right? Yeah. That guy yeah. breaking into yeah. the White yeah, House. Yeah, on the lawn, and, yeah. That lawn, and, 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 he, and they send this dog on him, and he kicks him. Not he barely kicks him, and that dog makes such a fast U-turn. I've yeah. never seen dog making u turn so fast. Yeah. Not even in your, just maybe in some super extra call-off. Yeah. Right, but the dog was gone. Yeah. 
And then they brought some old hand dog, which, you know, did bite the mm-hmm. guy. Yeah. And and again, the dog was doing leg bites and wouldn't regrip, and the guy was pummeling him with his fists right on his ankle. Yeah. You know, which is another issue, right? Yeah. But uh, you're just looking for an all, all, you, you want to train the whole dog, like the whole, right. Yeah, right. that's and, your. And you're going to make it sense, right? And, and do it yeah. not just because everybody does it, but because you have some kind of a reason. Yeah. So when police officer pulls out dog out of the car and aims him on a person who's running away and they need to catch him, or he needs to, the dog to track the person and get him, whatever, mm-hmm. that's in prey, indeed. Yes. And that's how it should be. Mm-hmm. Okay? But you cannot stop there and just say, okay, I'm done because my dog catches the guy and knock him down and, you know, and, and we arrest the guy. Yeah. you got to always train for the unlikely scenario, but possible scenario. Yeah. Right, you got you got you got trained uh, train for everything, including the fringes. Don't just stop yeah. and say, "Ah, oh, that's not going to happen." Well, it does happen, obviously. Yeah. You know, well, then I shoot him or something. You know, well, why would you want to shoot somebody, right? You know, nobody really want to do that unless you're some kind of a crazy person, yeah. right? So you want to always uh, finish the conflict with the least amount of harm to the bad guy. Really, you yeah. know, and people may disagree with me on that, but, 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 you know, you, 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 you want to win. The best is to win without fight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's what the Sanse would say, or Sun Tzu, yeah. you know, the Chinese general. And, uh, and uh, uh, he said, what, 4,000 years ago or whatever, I don't know. Right. And, uh, and then every time you make more destruction, it's actually less and less desirable, mm-hmm. right? So, so you have to, you know, so so you 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 want to make sure that when you win a fight, you do you do it with the least damage. That's also legal, right? Yeah. So you gotta train the dog to um, to be able to handle both, so right? So you send the dog. After the bad guy, if the bad guy turns at the dog or at you, then it's in defense drive. So you got trained the dog in defense drive. And the problem is, I think, that everybody starts dogs in prey drive. I personally always start the dog in defense drive, in the personal protection, not in the law enforcement chasing thing, okay? Yeah. And the reason for that is, I add the prey drive after the defense drive, right? Yeah. Because I first want to communicate to that young dog I'm training in front of me that the guy he's attacking is the enemy, yeah. right? And not somebody who's going to bring me fabric uh, sleeve or suit or apple. To, to bite into. Yeah, right? yeah. Right? Yeah. So I want to make sure the dog understands when I say pozor, that that guy is a bad guy, and yeah. then when he runs, that's fine. That now he employs yeah. the prey drive, right? Yeah. But it, both gotta be there, defense prey. And with without equipment, that's the, another huge thing here. With right, hands. right, right. I mean, you it's start like without huge, equipment. You know, huge. That's the yeah. That's the that's a, that's the default on civil. Some of you might be listening, like, how is that possible? Well, buy our videos, you can, man. There that's, you go. This is <laughs> why I had to step in here. <laughs> Hans has a full, uh, you know, four, uh, four video series yeah, on this. So. and it's not, it's not it's hard. Not, yeah. As a matter of fact, yeah. I would say to train the dog in defense, I mean, build the yep. foundation or the default, as I like to call it, on defense, yeah. it's easier than build it on prey and safer. Yeah. People think, well, the dog is one... When I attack, uh, you know, everybody then. I said, no, he does it only when I tell him to. On command. On command. Yeah. Right? It's like just because I have a black belt in karate doesn't mean I'm walking on sidewalks and kick everybody in the face. Or if you have a gun on your side, doesn't mean you can start shooting, shooting everybody. everybody. I mean, the same concept. Yeah. Why is this so difficult? I don't understand. Well, I know it's not difficult, but people are married to their system yeah. of training yeah. and they don't want to let well, it Well, it's go. so crazy now. You watch any YouTube video, it's the same thing over yeah, and over again. Just, That's why it's like it's a... Just, it's just nauseating and it's so bad. It's so, it's so sad, it's actually, like a, because 
I can see these enthusiastic trainers yeah. doing, yeah. And, and, and they're good people. Yeah. And, and they're doing the wrong thing. Yeah. And they don't even know it. And they're yeah. doing it. Why? Oh, because, because police does it or military does it. Or yeah. well, they're also doing it the wrong way. Yeah. You know, I'm, as I said, I'm still waiting to be impressed. Yeah, as uh, as uh, from the movie uh, <laughs> *League of Extraordinary Gentlemen*. <laughs> yeah, Sean Connery. Sean Connery. I'm, I'm still waiting to be impressed. impressed. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was trying to do all sorts of things. And if you're listening to this, like this is 50 years talking here. This is not like, and and Hans has done the sport and all that. So he, this is not like it's just you're listening. Like who is what? Come on, <laughs> like <laughs> like. Yeah, it and wasn't, I trained that way. I trained the channeling yeah. from equipment like uh, Jerry Bradshaw, you yeah. know, in this book, uh, yeah. uh, 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 Control Aggression. He wrote. But as Hans said, it's still about the sleep, the equipment, or I should yeah, say. It's always you can about channel the, it. <laughs> you can channel the aggression. What are you channeling it? You're teaching the dog to protect the sleeve. And why didn't you start without the sleeve? Yeah, forget <laughs> the sleeve. Don't do you know, just 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 skip all the malarkey and bullshit, and just just tell the dog, hey, that guy over there is a bad guy. Or but, how do you do but, that? I, I was I was in Kokopa Indian Reservation, and this this uh, new the head a new head of dog training. He says, well, <laughs> how are you gonna teach the dog to bite if he cannot bite the sleeve if he doesn't have a sleeve on? If you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. Buy the video. <laughs> Buy the video, everyone. <laughs> no, what it is, no, yeah. what it is, I, I'll it's, say. It. It's not a secret. You know, like, the video will tell you how you do yeah, it. How but, you do, yeah, how you do it. But, you know, physically you can actually yeah. see it being done. Yeah. But but what you're doing is you challenge the dog. You can do use eyes, mo but but we don't do motions, right? You know, oh, like this. Because people don't do that. Because that's prey, right? And yeah. then and people don't do that, right? Normally. So I'm coming at the dog and I yeah. and I'm staring at the dog, you know. Uh, you know, I may even growl uh, at the dog, right? Yeah. And dog says, Wow, what is you know, and I hear mm -hmm. his first pozor and then suddenly I start coming at the guy at the dog. Yeah. You know, and, and 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 so the dog, you know, I take him apart, right? The dog is just like, Wow, what is this is and I get these Shoots on three yeah, I know, yeah. dogs from I've New Europe, it. and and they don't know what the hell to do with it. They, you know, they hear pozor because that's what they were trained sport, so they go into this mode. But but suddenly I'm I have no sleeve, I'm not running back and forth. And like you're a challenging lunatic. him, yeah. and I'm challenging him, and they yeah. go like, "Whoa, what's yeah. that?" Right? Yeah. And then they go, "Woof woof," and I run away. Yeah. As a decoy, or even growl is. Yeah, 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 or growl, whatever. Yeah. And the dog in me says, "Ah, I like this, yeah. right?" And they start doing it, you know. And 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 they hear the command, and they they learn the sequence, and all that. So, so the prey training, like they do mostly, not yeah. only, but mostly in law enforcement, uh, <laughs> bite work is uh, is important. Is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But. But if I train it, what I would suggest you do first the defense. First teach the dog, that yeah. guy over there is your enemy. And then you can make him run, you can do all the prey stuff, that's fine. People say, Hans is against prey. I'm not against prey. Yeah. It's like saying I'm against gravity. Yeah. It just exists, so I cannot be against it. It's nature. And yeah. I'm not against it. I'm all for it. Yeah. But use it the way which makes sense. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so first I yeah. build the default. Yeah. That guy is a bad guy and needs to get bit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you, the dog, will do the biting. Yeah. You know? And I will praise you for it. And you will like it. You see you will like it. Because when you bite him, he's going to cry like a little girl. And you know what? I'm saying this. Why? Because what's interesting about this, this is kind of a little interesting tangent. You know, when you when the decoy is is being bit, he he's supposed to cry with his high pitched voice, right? Yeah. Why? Because the 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 sub the if two dogs fight and one of them is losing okay. in defense, or if the dog catches rabbit, they go into high pitched voice. Mm -hmm. Ah ah! Mm -hmm. Right? That's yeah. what you do. And uh, or or the rabbit squeak, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Yeah. And, and and or the dog who is being mauled to death, 
also go into high pitched, right? Yeah. And and so they're genetically programmed to enjoy to put the enemy into high pitched screaming, mm-hmm. right? You know, you you know, a tough guy, you know, muscle tattoos and all, you know, challenges cops, oh, yeah, I'll kick your dog's ass and all that. And then he gets busy, oh, I'll yeah. call him off, yeah. right? Yeah, same kind. That's normal. I'm not making fun of it. That's just how it yeah. is, yeah. right? And and more you cry with high pitched voice and all that, Good more dog. the dog gets going, right? Yeah. You know, I I remember <clears throat> I have this, uh, you know, the squeaky toys, mm-hmm. and I always takes the squeaky out of it yeah. because it pops up and dog may inhale it, and you gotta have a certain. Plus, they drive you nuts, anyways. The, uh-huh. the, for me, the squeak drives me nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Plus, it drives you nuts, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like. It's like this friend of mine, he really passed away. Every time we were giving to his kids uh, toys, he always wanted to screen them, you know, so that we, oh, would, give, we would give them trumpets and yeah. drums and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, anyway, I take the squeaky out of the squeaky toy because yeah. I want the dog to inhale it. Yeah. And and I was living in Whitman and I let all the dogs out. I had like 12, 15 dogs back then. And it was a desert forever, all the way to uh-huh. Wickenburg, 20 miles. So it was just nothing. Uh-huh. So I let them out, you know, and they run around, did their stuff. And then when I called them, I took that squeaky and I would blow into it. Pee, pee, you know, uh-huh. and and they always come back. I said, ah, it's cool. That works really well. Yeah. You, you know, and one day I look and when I do this, the coyote come with them too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? And And... And the thing is, that squeaky, that's why dogs like the squeaky. Genetically. Because it's, it's genetically predisposed because it, uh, it actually makes the same sound as a rabbit, which mm-hmm. can just got killed or mm-hmm. getting killed yeah. for food, right? Yeah. So, so when one dog in the pack kills a rabbit and the rabbit is still screaming, they all come in it and finish it off and they have a food. Yeah. That's why the high-pitched voice of the decoy makes so much sense to the dog and that's in prey or defense doesn't matter yeah yeah okay so makes sense yeah all this yeah. so so you know to conclude all this you know if even if you want to use law enforcement dog uh, for chasing people always start with defense explain to the dog the guy you got chase is not somebody who's carrying your toy it's meaning your, sleeve or yeah. suit or some yeah. kind of a fabric it's your enemy but it's your enemy. Yeah. You need to, yeah. like the Russians say, unichtozhit. What does that mean? Annihilate. Annihilate. Yeah. <laughs> An- annihilate. Yeah. 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 Or, or destroy or whatever. Yeah. Annihilate means, a Russian is, is, is um, very good des- descriptive because unichtozhit means it turn into nothing. Uh huh. Just, just annihilate just, it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so anyway, that's uh, that's the uh, okay. That's what you want to do, you know. Yeah, makes sense. And a lot of these episodes, and I talked about this. I mean, they kind of, I mean, you you talk about a little bit here, a little bit there. They, you'll hear things. Well, it's a conglomerate. conglomerate of, yeah, you know, of things. So you might have heard it a little bit of this, but then we go deeper in yeah. specific and episodes. Or, or or if you've heard it in some other uh, yeah. podcast, yeah. Now you hear it in this podcast, and you see that the same thing. May have applications somewhere else. Yeah. So, you know? I try to keep like the notes of it. Did we do that? Like before we record, we go through it and, and, uh, I mean, eventually we're going to have similar topic, but said differently, possibly. So, it's yeah, I watch not, uh, you know, some, some doctors talking and they talk about the same thing yeah. in four different podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. But they always say a little different, you yeah. know, and different angle. Yeah. And you might remember afterwards. Oh, I should have said that thing. So next time you kind of remember. So it's like you can't. It's because yeah. these are not scripted. So no, I'm yeah. pulling it out of my heel. Yeah, out of the yeah, out of the hat. <laughs> he's got a big hat though. <laughs> his his hat yeah, is I'm big. I'm bringing it. You know, he's got a big hat. But thank you, Hans. Uh, hey, for, thank you for uh, giving us more knowledge. Uh, please subscribe, share all the good stuff. Visit. Uh, um, Alpine Canine Reel, that's where all the videos are, the instructional videos, the how-to, the video that we just talked about, um, the uh, personal protection video, which is a four-part series. Make sure you buy that in order. Do not buy, like, the fourth one and backwards. Like, if you can't afford it, then buy the first one, second, and third in that order. 
Hun, and then fourth. Yeah. And fourth, yeah. Um, how to feed. If you have a puppy uh, right now, you want to feed it raw. I know those videos have been kind of popular too. Uh, Hans shows you how to do that. Um, Art of War, uh, which is how to help your dog in a, in a situation. In a fight. In a fight, yeah. And how in to support the dog. Support the dog. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, basic obedience, that's a good one. It's a popular video. People like to buy that too. So please do all that, and uh, we will see you next time.